Good morning, love muffins. We're gonna do some tarot. Break up some of the heavy energy that some of us have been experiencing. Hopefully you're having some fun, enjoying yourself, taking some time to rest and fill your cup. I went for a nice long hike first thing in the morning yesterday. I saw some beautiful views and experienced some beautiful nature and it was a much needed break. So make sure that you're making time for socializing and making time for fun. All right, Spirit, what do we need to know? The Five of um, Pentacles, yeah, with the Hierophant in, in reverse and the Lovers in reverse. Oh, some of you guys are um, coming out of this feeling of being, um, of just being burdened with a lot of heavy energy. You could have been dealing with some financial issues. You could... Um, be dealing with just some loneliness or isolation or the feeling of the work that you're doing maybe just not paying off and it's causing you to feel like maybe you aren't connected like maybe you don't have things to look forward to or maybe you're feeling like what you're being asked to do with the Hierophant in reverse was against the grain to the degree that you didn't feel comfortable moving forward with your assignment so to speak your soul assignment and of course those of you that know my work well know that I am definitely not of the grain. I'm, I'm here to, if anything, guide others forward who are also rebels, you know, or just kind of different. And um, breaking tradition is what this card means in reverse. And so some of you guys might be, you know, causing a ruckus, so to speak, in your family, um, just sort of upsetting the herd. But this is a good thing. It's a divine thing because you are here to stir things up in a positive way. Okay, um, and also just forgive my, I've got a little droopy eye, <laughs> so forgive my droopy eye. Oh God, I'm tired, you guys. This has been a really crazy couple weeks, and I just want you to know, if you have been powering through without taking time to recharge, um, Spirit keeps planting it on my heart to talk about this, so I know that there's a reason, and my eye's droopy for a reason too. You know, got a little infected, but but the reason is also because I was pushing myself a little too hard in too many different directions. And um, though it was really awesome, and I'm really glad that I did it in a way, it's also been exhausting and draining. And we need to kind of like protect ourselves, okay? Especially with the um, king and queen of uh, swords. Interesting. Together, one on the top and one on the bottom. So you guys have a lot of. The lovers, the Hierophant, and then the King and Queen of Swords. The Hierophant can represent higher, um, like, love. Like, basically, marriage, higher commitment. Um, the lovers, I think, is pretty self-explanatory. And then the King and Queen of Swords is a divine counterpart. So you could be dealing with um, balancing the two halves of yourself. You could be dealing with calling in some divine love, especially if you're trying to take care of yourself now, because... When we're always on autopilot and we're just pushing, 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 we're also pushing the good things away from us oftentimes because we're too busy focusing on things that are, you know, um, that we deem is more important. But our, but our soul satisfaction, our heart satisfaction, our ability to love and, oops, um, invite love into our lives is super important, okay? And I'm not just talking about romantic love. I'm just talking about loving ourselves. Okay, so love yourself. And also, um, I almost didn't get on here, even though it's not really not that bad. I almost didn't get on here because I kind of felt self-conscious. But I think another part of this um, message is just be yourself. You know, people are going to accept you the way you are. And the people that aren't are not for you anyway. So it's a really easy way to kind of weed them out. All right, seven of pentacles with the three of pentacles. You have a lot of pentacles, ace of pentacles. Wow, okay. Um, you guys are creating some abundance, okay? Some of you guys might have been working really hard in a specific direction, and it's creating wealth, okay? And it might not be showing up immediately. You might actually be a little um, frustrated by how slowly, <laughs> I'm just with my fingers today, how slowly <laughs> it's showing up uh, with the seven of pentacles which can indicate, you know, that you pour a lot of time and energy, whoops, into something and that you're not really seeing the results. And I just want to share also, side note, that um, 
I've been trying some new things, which is part of the reason why I feel a little burned out. And they're working. They're working. These new things are working in these new directions that I didn't expect anything to happen from. So just know that um, when you try something and something comes back, that's spirit telling you that that's a direction that you should continue moving in, okay? Um, and then, anyway, I could go on. I have a lot to say about all this stuff. And if you need a private reading, please reach out to me, okay? Sacredmuseproject.com. I also offer mentorship, trauma coaching, self-love coaching, shamanic cleanses, and a lot of other stuff. So um, I have a lot of wisdom to share. And uh, there's only so much I can say in these messages, and that's why I'm always, like, talking a mile a minute. But really, what if you need have questions, just reach out to me, all right? Because I can help you. But Ace of Pentacles, just... You're, we're, keep planting seeds. You're, you're planting in a direction that's going to pay off. And it's going to lead to some collaborations with some other people. Um, and that's kind of the recipe that some of you guys have been missing is this piece of other people, um, certainly for me. And part of the reason why I'm doing better and feeling better is because I'm pouring more into myself and, and my happiness, okay? Make some friends. Um, pursue your dreams. Focus on things that make you happy, that fill your cup. Uh, Eight of Pentacles. So yeah, you guys are... Um, you guys have a lot of fucking pentacles. Okay. It could be because some of you guys are focused on money. In my experience, the more you focus in a certain a direction, especially with a negative energy, the more you're going to create blockages. Okay. I've noticed that when I put a lot of pressure on a certain channel, I post on four, four different platforms, um, that, that particular channel that doesn't do as well. And then when I switch gears to another channel and then that one starts doing well, this other one that I kind of forgot about starts doing something again. So just know that um, it's important to continue working hard, but <laughs> the lovers, okay? That didn't just happen for no reason. Um, I'm going to finish my sentence, but anyway, actually I'm not because I got distracted and there's a reason. All right, y'all are calling in. You, you're being asked to decide right now between holding back your energy in protective mode and being afraid, okay? As a person who has severe fear, I'm realizing, of being abandoned, even by friends, it, like especially after being isolated as much as I was during the pandemic um, to the point that scars you for life, okay? Some of you guys know what I'm talking about. And I'm laughing because it's uncomfortable, not because it's funny. It's not funny at all. There's this, there's this sense of feeling unsafe around humans, okay? I honestly feel emotional. It's hard to open up again. It's hard to remember how to incorporate humans into your life when you've had the kind of isolation I'm talking about. You're being invited to step back out into the world. It's like you're being asked to choose. Um, but the, there was another card. <laughs> oh, this wasn't it, but um, the Two of Pentacles came out. I don't know where it went, but the Two of Pentacles is about juggling. So you might be trying to juggle between <laughs> staying stuck, staying protective, and breaking out and, and finding balance, okay, within yourself, within your life, within your social life, maybe finding love as well, because we got the lovers twice now. And we got the counterpart card. But it's not going to happen when you're too busy holding back, okay? And this, again, this doesn't have to do with just romantic love. A lot of us just need to get out there and get some hugs and get some friends and figure out how to be a human again with other humans. And that's going to unlock a lot of things, okay? Inspiration. And also the other thing that Spirit's been planting on my heart that I'm supposed to share with you is that the more that we focus on the things that make us happy, the more we're going to see our life take off. The more inspired we are, the more we're going to be able to inspire others and the more we're going to be able to call in that change that we really desire, okay? When we're focusing on all the things that aren't going well, we're only creating a stagnant energy that's holding the rest of our life back, all right? So continue pouring into the things that you love and please get yourself out. Get some hugs, okay? Put yourself out there. You can't um, create this new life that you want without putting yourself out there in some way. And I know it's hard. Oh my gosh, you guys. New beginnings are coming in though, quickly. Wow. Especially when you start relinquishing this controlling energy of protecting yourself at all costs, okay? We have to get out there and share our energy. We are calling in new beginnings when we do this. All right, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse with justice in reverse, yeah. All of these cards speak to um, abundance, justice, balancing the scales. But I really feel like some of us have to understand that we're worth those things first in order to call them in. Because so when we're so busy sitting in this energy of like, everything's terrible, or people are gonna do me wrong because I've been done wrong, or I'm not worthy, you know, because it's not always about other people. Sometimes it's about us not being enough. You're enough, you're more than enough. 
And once you realize that, once you start focusing on the things that are, you're passionate about and moving toward them with fearlessness, with gusto, you're going to call in this balance. You're going to call in this gift from the universe. You're going to call in this justice and this stability. Okay. God. All right. I'm just going to pull um, an Oracle card and then we're going to go into the extended. I have a feeling it's going to be a good one. I don't, I've never said that before, but, um, Feels like something juicy is in here. So if you want to join me for the extended, you can either pay for the entire month and have access to all the extended readings plus some bonus footage on YouTube. Um, you can also join on Patreon. It's a little less expensive over there, but there are less perks. And uh, you can also join, sorry, you can also on Patreon just watch this one reading and pay for it isolated. That's something they just started offering. So that's kind of cool. And I'll link that below. Body, home, wish, and practice. Okay, so a lot of us are a little bit disconnected from our body, um, which is also our home. You know, it's our vessel. A lot of us feel like maybe we're not safe there. And that's why um, this yoga, these people are doing yoga. It said practice and it was in reverse. I feel like some of us are just not 11-11. Wow, spirit. Not um, pouring enough into our physical vessel. You know, if you, if you don't exercise, if you don't have a way of grounding your energy, if you don't have a practice of some kind, a ritual or multiple, you, that's something that you need to work on. Okay. And I have so many rituals. It's crazy. I used to have really no discipline at all. And now all I am is discipline. I wake up every day and I have all these things that I do. And I'm, that's why I look the way I do and feel the way I do most days because I take care of myself, especially as we get older. You know what I mean? We really have to pour into ourselves, you guys. This is the new era of self-love, okay? Wish, make a wish. Um, it's, it's eclipse season, all right? So um, buckle up and start planting seeds of what you wanna see in your future. Don't just leave it to chance. You've gotta move with intention right now, okay? And again, if you wanna join me in the extended, um, you can go, if you're on YouTube, look right next to the subscribe button. There should be a button that says join. If you click that button, it would be the bonus content tier. Otherwise, you can go straight to my main YouTube page, scroll all the way to the bottom, and there should be a bunch of members-only videos. You can see, you can kind of scroll through those to see if they look interesting to you. Um, and then if you click on one, it should take you to become a, a member. And then I'll also put the link to Patreon, but you can also just go on Patreon and search Sacred Muse Project, and it'll take you right to my page. And then there's a membership page that you can click on. And yeah, I'd love to see you over there. I'd love to see you here or on YouTube. And either way, I'm sending love. Okay, keep going. Mwah.